With me in the studio this afternoon from Cube System, I've got Suhyun Che. Really good to meet you. Thanks for coming in. How are you doing? I'm very well, thank you. Tell me a bit about the, the Cube Chain platform here. Okay. Well, first of all, I had a flight la last night and uh, I'm, because of the jet lag, mm -hmm. I'm a little bit tired. But <laughs> however, I will do my best. Okay. Uh, before I talk about Cube Chain, uh, I should compare this with the blockchain. Mm. I'm sure everyone everyone knows in this world what blockchain is. So um, let's compare with this. Blockchain creates single block at a time, and it has one hash value. As the um, data accumulates, the processing time will increase. In other words, it will slow down. Now, mm -hmm. cube chain, the blocks in the cube. There are 27 blocks, and they are being created at once. Comparing to blockchain, it's like 27 times faster. But to be specific, there are 24 data blocks and three special blocks. That equals to 27. And they are multi-clustered with four hash values. So let's go back to the blockchain. If we compare chain to a road, Blockchain is like a old road with only one lane. And now, cube chain is basically a super highway with 24 lanes. Mm -hmm. So it's quite fast. And let's talk about the security side. I told you that a blockchain has one hash value. If we compare it to a door lock, it's got only one door lock. Cube chain has four hash values, so we can say that has four door locks. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I think I made a good point of uh, comparing those two, and now you know cube chain. So th the two benefits that you're saying it's faster yes. and it's more secure. That's right. The cube system here is it? Are you offering a service? Are you, are you a service provider? Uh, we would like to be, but right now we just have finished developing the cube chain, mm. the algorithm of multi-clustering and being able to access in uh, multi-ways. Um, so we are actually not a service provider. We are the uh, new uh, blockchain uh, platform provider. And right. we, we need to work on the um, open APIs for those service providers to use ours and any of those um, service providers, they are already using the blockchain, so why not they just jump up to the uh, next, le next level of blockchain, which, is, which I call cube chain. And you said it right at the start there, most people by now have heard of the blockchain. So yes. this is a, it's a big market here for you. Oh yes, blockchain already has opened our um, next generation of um, industry, next industry. And uh, it is already big, but cube chain can do everything that the blockchain can do. It is a blockchain, same as the blockchain, except it's better. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, why not? Uh, those uh, service providers jump up to our cube chain and provide better service to the people in the world. Well, what, what stage is it at at the moment? Are you still developing? Uh, we already finished the basic algorithm. Right. And uh, now we are l looking for those um, service providers who is willing to use our cube chain, and we will, we should open the um, the new world of making the um, open APIs. And so you're currently in the middle of of a, of a crowdfunding. Yes, as a matter of fact, at the moment, it has started last week. Right. And uh, we need to raise some fund. So, uh, so that way we can uh, develop the um, open APIs. Mm -hmm. And you'll be issuing Cube tokens? Yes, uh, we, I would like to call it Cube coins, but uh, right now they are only worth, we just started, so they're only worth a token, but one day it will become a new um, cryptocurrency, Cube coin. It's a pr pretty exciting time for, for Cube system yes. and Cube chain. Yes. So really good to see you. Thanks very much. Thank you very much.